I would like to introduce myself. My name is Guilherme Martins Pereira. Uh, I am a Brazilian student here at Obla University in Hungary. And in Brazil, I study uh, Control and Automation Engineering in the Federal University of Santa Catarina. So I, would, uh, I will call about a notebook camera calibration using OpenCV. So, uh, first I will do a, a brief introduction about camera calibration and then a background. I will show the, the, the results, the implementation of the software and then the future works and conclusions. So, uh, computer processing is a very new area nowadays and it's very important uh, to have a, a good calibration of camera because with it you can, you can apply, you can uh, do a lot of applications and one of them uh, you can take images, you can take photos and you can reconstruct uh, a 3D model from this, from this 2D point. So, uh, the, the, a, a basic conception is a pinhole camera. It's, it's a, a camera with a, an infinitesimal hole where the, the light passes through it and projects a real and inverted image and this conception is very important to understand the, the mathematic point. So uh, the, the physical pinhole camera is described by this, this figure. You have the 3D points and here you have the, the image projected in the CCD or in the, the sensor of your camera. So the computation mode, you, you, you can use this figure. It's easier to to use this notation of the, the frames, it's, it's easier for the, the calculations. So, uh, in camera calibrations, basically, we have two problems. You have to find the intrinsic parameters of the camera, like the focal length, the position of the, in the center of the image, uh, the, the distortions, the tang tangential distortion, and uh, another problem is to find the orientation of the camera in relation to the, to the photos that you have taken. Because, um, and with this two information, you can, you can uh, generate a matrix called a projection matrix. And this function, you can take a, a 2D point, so uh, you can take an, an, a point for an image, and you can know where this exact point is in the, in the 3D space. So uh, the intrinsic parameters uh, can be modeled by this, this homogeneous matrix. And these coefficients, n and tau, they are actually, you, you, you can use them 1 and 0 because um, our modern cameras, they, they don't affect the results. So uh, here you can see, this is an example of a, a radial uh, distortion. So it can be, by using the, the camera calibration, you can uh, correct the image and this is very useful. <coughs> so the intrinsic parameters is basically the orientation of the camera in relation to uh, uh, the reference frame. So this matrix, you have the, the rotations and the, translation, and the translations in relation to the, to the base frame. So here is just an image to, to give an idea of the, you, you, you have an object and you, and you the, the pixels, uh, you, you can choose a point and you can use two cameras and make a triangulation so you will you have, uh, you can model the 3D space. So nowadays you have several tools. But the main reason to develop this, this system is because camera calibration sometimes it's, it's, it takes a lot of efforts of, for the user. You have to take the photos and this, this MATLAB toolbox is it's free, you can use it. It's not so easy to, to use but uh, it, I think this is the, the, the easiest and it's very used nowadays. And you have, it depends on the, the user to click on the, on the pattern and choose the, the positions of the, the points that we use to make the calculations. So uh, basically, to make a calibration of a camera, you use a pattern. Uh, a chessboard corner, a, a chessboard is, is very 
uh, simple because you you know the the exact points of the corners, so it's you you can use any anything. But in this example, I I have used a chessboard. So the, the software was implemented using uh, Zen's calibration method using the the OpenCV library, computer com, open source computer vision, and it was uh, made in C sharp. But uh, I, I had to use this wrapper Angle CV that you, because the OpenCV doesn't have a direct interface to C sharp, and I used the Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. So first of all, you have to capture the images. You have a, a, you have three. The, the number, the minimum number of images is three. But I I choose uh, seven between seven and twelve images. And after that, you have a, a nice method called find chessboard corners that is provided by the OpenCV. So you, I, I think the image is not so good, but uh, you will have the the 2D points of, of, of the images of the chessboard corners. And uh, with, this, with this information, you use this CV Calibrate Camera 2 and you, it will calculate the intrinsic parameters and the extrinsic parameters. And the, the main frame, it's positioned in, the, in that corner. You choose that corner and that will be the reference frame. So here is just a Unfortunately, I won't, I won't uh, give a demonstration of my software, but here is the interface, and uh, it, it's easy. You can, you just click one button, you make the, the you capture their images, and then uh, the the software makes all the calculations and exports the results to a text file and to a an, an Excel file, so it will be easy for you to to analyze the results. So uh, another nice point is when you when you make the calibration, you discover you you, you have this this two uh, D points. You you have the projection of two D to three D, and you can make an error because the the function find chessboard corners you have the the two D points, and this function project points you have the inverted. So you can make the, the calculation of the error. So here is just uh, this, the, the results of taking uh, different quantities of images from 7 to 12. Uh, actually, the, I, I prefer to, to use with uh, 12 images because you, have, uh, you, 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 won't, you won't have a, a, such a huge effort of your computer and you have such good results. So uh, it's very easy to operate the system, it's very useful and uh, it was a little bit difficult to find the documentation for C Sharp but uh, in C++ you can implement it as well but I have used C Sharp and I had some problems and the, the algorithms are a little bit restrict and the future works you can have the you can make tests with cameras. In my example, I use just a notebook camera. It's easy to do, but you can uh, make calibrations with any camera. You can use uh, lenses with more distortion, so you can evaluate these results. And an important implementation is discarding image with uh, big corner errors, so you you will improve your results. Um, and that's all. I would like to. So thanks copies and all the university for this opportunity. Thank you.